from Rixie. This is the Daily Rec, a great resource for daily recommendations. Today's topic, music. I'm Mason Carlton. My music recommendation for today is the artist Mitch Murder. I discovered this artist a few years back when I got really big into this electronic subgenre called synthwave. Synthwave is essentially just 80s style electronic music. If you can imagine the type of music that you would hear in an old 80s cop movie or Blade Runner or you name it, any 80s movie, anything that reminds you of Stranger Things is going to be in the same genre as this. Even some of the music that we use for backtracks of this show could be considered synthwave. I used to follow this account on Instagram called New Retro Wave, and they would post different artists within the synthwave genre. And to the best of my knowledge, I discovered Mitch Murder from this Instagram page. There weren't as many synthwave artists back when I was following this account, but with the popularity of Stranger Things, I think this genre has grown quite a bit. But I think the reason that Mitch Murder stands out so much to me is the fact that he's not trying to update the 80s synth pop genre. It seems to me that he's actually just trying to replicate the sounds as if they were being made in the 80s. So much so that it would be difficult to distinguish a song that he writes from the 80s as opposed to now. I think I just have a general soft spot for people that try to do time pieces rather than just updating something that's old. I still like things that are updated, but I feel like I like things that are hard to distinguish from the time period that they're trying to recreate. Mitch Murder really understands the nuances of the 1980s, early 1980s synth pop, where they were using digital synthesizers, but still creating it within an analog space. To me, his music is cinematic, it's badass, it's emotional, And I find that just about anything he releases, I tend to love. If you want to check out Mitch Murder, the link will be in the show notes. And just to give you a bit of a taste of his music, I'm going to end the episode with one of my favorite songs from Mitch Murder called Sunday from his album Selection 5. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday.